Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the part second of our C sharp window form tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about text box and button together in C sharp window forms. So let's start. First, we will create a new project. So I'll go to this new project, select window forms, click next, and here I will use text box and button. And I will hit enter and click create to create the project. Now our project is created. So this is toolbox. I'll go to toolbox. Here we have different controls. So first I will search for text box. I'll drag it. I'll extend it a bit. Now I'll again go to toolbox and here I'll search for button. So it is right here. I'll drag it this as well and I'll place it down below this text box. Now the idea is to enter some text in this text box and then with this button click get the text from this text box and show it in a message box. So first I will change the name for this text box. So I'll go to properties while this text box is selected. So we will go to properties and change the name here. Why we change names of text boxes and buttons to give it a meaningful name so that later on it is easy to uh, refer to that button or to that text box in our code. So I will name this text box get text and I will name this button get text btn and now I'll change the text on this. So for that while this button is selected I will go down right here get text. Now when I come here and click here so the text change on this button. Now we will create the click event of this button. So to create the click event of this button, double click on this button and it will automatically create the click event of this button. First we will get the text from this text box. So for that I'll use string text box text equals get text. This is our text box name dot and text. This property get the text from this text box and store it in this string variable. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show this in a message box. So message box dot show and here I'll use that text text box text and now I'll put semicolon at the end. So our simple application is ready. So now if I run this and now if I put some text in this text box, hello to everyone from C shop. And now if I click on this get text button, so that text is retrieved from this text box and shown in this message box. So in this way you can use button and text box and C sharp which was told you. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.